Okay, guys, so we'll be looking at the next type of um, surgery. And this surgery is mostly done to handle excessive sweating. Right? Maybe there could be other reasons why they could do this surgery, but most of the times, excessive sweating. Right? So, this is what is known as what? Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy. Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy. So, for this endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy, See how they do it. It's mostly minimal invasive. So they are doing it just to cut some nerves. We should be looking at them. I'm looking at the functions of the nerves. All right. That's you trying to now explain why they are doing this surgery. So this endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy is a surgical procedure used to treat what conditions that have to do with excessive sweating, facial blushing, renal phenomenon. So it involves what destroying a portion of the sympathetic nerve trunk in the thoracic area using an endoscope. Okay, so this is a tube with a camera and surgical instrument. So this will now disrupt the signals, the nerve signals that are usually causing excessive sweating. Right? Facial blushing, renal phenomena, all of them you're actually sweating. Right? So you want to destroy those nerves that are supplying what? Impulses to all the sweat glands. You understand? That's what we call endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy. So it's typically considered when other treatments like using antiperspirant or using medications or lifestyle changes have failed. Okay? So it's used in treating what? Palmar hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating in the hands, adlite hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating under the arms, of the underarms, facial blushing, right? And all of that. So procedure, anesthesia is applied, incisions, small incisions are made, all right? These are the small incisions that we're talking about where you put the scope. Then um, nerve disruption. So the surgeon locates and disrupts the sympathetic nerves responsible for sweating, all right? So, so procedure is usually done on both sides of the body. So for risk and side effects, sometimes there's compensatory sweating. So other parts of the body, like the back, the chest, and abdomen, will now be sweating that a sweat that was supposed to be done on the other parts that was treated. You understand? The sweat will now be transferred to the other parts. So there's surgical risks like infection, bleeding, complications, Honor syndrome, right? So other effects like uh, low blood pressure, heart bleeding problems, heart intolerance, and other parts. Heat intolerance, right? Alright, so I think that's it for endoscopic thoracic sympathetic to me. See you guys pretty soon.